Hi everybody, I just finished off these three guys and I uh, really wanted to show them to you. So these are um, three Blood Angels Space Marines, all based on classic classic artworks. And it uh, kind of started with this one. I think uh, most of you will recognize this guy, which is the uh, John Blanche cover illustration for Epic 40k, a long time ago. And this is from the same time, I think, as the uh, the Black Templars one, which is uh, the other famous one, right? That one. And it's roughly in the same style, and it's completely awesome. So, yeah, I just wanted to build the, the big guy here. I love that cloak that he has, and that weird underslung plasma cannon, and uh, the armor with all the nice gold details on it. So my uh, my goal was to attempt to to make that into a miniature so this is what the uh, what the result is i post some images with uh, side by side comparisons of this this guy with the uh, the next to the artwork um and those as well um yeah i put some orcs on the base because that's what's happening in the artwork as well it's a big battle between orcs and blood angels uh, and some very nice with you looping giants in the background and I had to make the cape like a complete cape of course because it's a free model this was a fun exercise in uh, in fur I made a, a video on how to sculpt fur as well for this guy so uh, the Captain YouTube I'll put a link uh, for the, that tutorial in the description too if you're interested and for the rest it was just lots of bits it's mainly Primaris Intercessor, actually it's not very uh, complicated base miniatures, only the sword is from uh, the, the Blood Angels uh, Horus Heresy character, uh, Dom Dominion Zephan or something, it's a, yeah, a cool sword so I wanted to take that one. Um, yeah, heaps of cables of course. Mr. Blanche likes his cables too, and some more skulls. It was a fun little build to do, and then I wanted to add two more, uh, which were not from the same artwork, because I mean, if you look at the artwork, there's a lot of marines in there, but it's not, I know, there's not a lot of guys really sticking out. But I did see this chaplain here, so I thought maybe I can make the chaplain. But instead, just taking this half image right here. I decided to base it on another artwork, which I'll probably show, show somewhere over here. Which is a uh, from, I think, Angels of Death Codex. Or at least one of the early Blood Angel Codexes. And so I want to have that uh, skulls with wings on the um, on the knees. It was one of the things I wanted. Of course, the, uh, the haloed helmet skull. And... The, the final thing I really wanted to have was a classic, classic second edition bolter. So I got this from my from my bits box um, way way long ago. And it fits so well with the miniature. I think it's really it even uh, almost looks like a bolt pistol instead of a full sized bolt gun. Um, torso is from the Chaplain from the Indomitus box. And the backpack, I got a lot of questions about the backpack. It's actually a Chaos backpack from the Chaos Raptors, cleaned up. So you can, uh, uh, there's a lot of variation in the box. I think there's five different, and some of them are more chaotic than the others. So I took a rather regular one and, uh, and cleaned it up a bit. And this is also just the uh, Rosarius of the, uh, that same chaplain that donated the chest piece. And the legs are, um, assault intercessors with a lot of green stuff on it. I love this color scheme. It's a real, real classic. And the final one is this Terminator, uh, which is based on a, a Blanche artwork for the uh, the the first, I think, uh, metal Terminator box set that came out way a long time ago. <laughs> Which have some very cool Blood Angels Terminators on the uh, on the cover, and I like this uh, this captain 
because uh, he has an awesome, awesome uh, flag on his back and the heraldry on his, well, everywhere basically. He has the same her heraldry here and here and here and here and here. And those checkers were uh, <laughs> heaps of fun to paint. Uh, I'm glad they're done. <laughs> the the build is actually a Terminator from the the Deathwing, Deathwing box. Yeah, because of those uh, those arcs instead of uh, rounded or uh, square ones. And uh, the the legs are aggressor legs, but I uh, I removed uh, most of the back plates. There's some big back plates and those tubes on the back for the aggressors. I removed those and I built the uh, the stripes back that the classic terminators have because i thought that would be a uh, nice touch and the height of this terminator is way better than the uh, than the old terminators so this one's really the same size as a uh, primaris marine but he's uh, wearing terminator armor the other thing i really like about this is the uh, the shoulder plate which is curved downwards like the, the the classic terminators also had and yeah what else the red was nice to paint it's a beautiful color and i uh, had some fun making that and the face paint the, the blue war stripes which is really something of that era in the, in the artworks cool stuff um yeah i think that's it Three classic Blood Angels based on classic artworks, but now upgraded to Primaris. That's it. Hope you liked it, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.